Hi, my name is Cathy Miller and this week we're looking at how to add peeling paint to wood. So peeling paint is a technique that's beloved by modellers. Everybody likes to weather their buildings and have that peeling paint effect. And there's many different ways to do it. But in the larger scales and even in HO, this is a really good one. So what's the technique for this week? Well, I've got this wood from last week's video, which has just been stained with an isopropyl alcohol and India ink solution. These are the medium and dark ones and you can't really tell them apart, I've mixed them up and it just basically gives the underlying colour to the wood that we want to show through when we do the peeling paint. So it's there as a base coat, and this has been drying for a while. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we want to put on paint and then peel it. Now, that's actually quite simple, and I'm gonna use the Chuck Doan technique. So basically, Chuck Doan is an amazing modeler. He does such detail, um, but very small, um, contain dioramas so that he can get to that level of detail. And he came up with this and he used thinner and um, polyscale, neither of which I have. So I'm going to use terps. Now you can buy terps a lot more cheaply than this, but this just happens to be what I have for terps. So I'm going to use terps and a um, sort of thick acrylic paint. So I'm going to use Tamiya. I wish I had white, but I don't. So I'm going with deck tan, which is a nice sort of pale grey colour. And it's important that you don't use something like Vallejo because that is just a little bit too thin and I find it doesn't work so well for this. You do want something with just a little bit more clump to it. So I'm gonna demonstrate on one to start with and you literally, you soak it in um, terps and this acts as a resist. So at this point, your acrylic paint won't stick to that surface. So then I've got a brush for my acrylic paint and what you do is you wait till that's more or less soaked in and then you just paint along your acrylic paint quite thickly um, and it shouldn't sink into the wood at all it should sit on the surface and you can see there it is if you leave it and it's too wet then the two mix which isn't great so now you just leave it and let it dry and there is a um, a sort of time at which this is best to do. So you leave it here, you let it dry, and when it's solid enough that it's not gonna stick um, to anything, it's solid enough to flake, that's when we come back and do the next step. Okay, so it's got a couple of damp patches, but it's more or less there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an X-Acto knife, and I'm just gonna run it along and score it slightly. And you can see immediately, X-Acto blade, sorry, not X-Acto knife, um, it starts to just pull it up. And then the magic trick then is to find the end of your um, sellotape. This is Scott's magic tape, which Chuck recommends. And you put it on and you pull it off. Oops, definitely not when it's on the um, foil. And it pulls off and you can see it pulls off layers of the paint and you get quite a subtle peeling paint effect. And I'm gonna go through, you can see it's come away and it looks quite blotchy. Now, I think it works better where there's even thicker amount of paint than I've put on there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a few more with just a little bit more terps and paint on so they're quite thick and then leave them. So I'm gonna do all this batch with the terps and paint and we'll see how it goes. I was a little impatient so I got the hairdryer out and had one of those lovely happy accidents where the terps bubbled up through the paint and made some lovely little bubble effects in the paint which were great and I would certainly do again if I was looking for an O scale fine detail, it looked really good. But the actual peeling paint was very fine, brilliant for HO, if you wanted it for O or you wanted a more heavy peel the one layer of paint was just a little bit too thin to come off in great big chunks. And when I've used polyscale in the past, it's obviously been slightly more plasticky in paint and it's come off more. 
So I went back and I did it all again from scratch and I did it with two coats of paint this time. And I used mineral spirits to see if that made a difference. I don't think it really does, but mineral spirits, methylated spirits in the UK, put that on instead of the terps and everything else the same, leave it to dry and don't leave it too long or it sets too solid and you can't get it off. Now, if it does that, don't panic because you can just go and put it in a sink of water for 30 seconds to a minute and then dry the wood again and then pull it with the tape and it will come off even better. So where I had a set that wasn't coming off very well, I went back and wet it and it just swells the wood and sort of stops the paint adhering properly and enables you to pull it off. So this is the final result. This is the finer grain here and that's from the one coat of paint. And on this photo on the left, you can see the larger grain from two coats and on the right, is the smaller grain. So these are all just pictures of the larger grain. And I, I think it depends on the scale you're modeling in. You can see there's definitely a really beautiful peeling paint technique. was it to go up the loft for the next set of mini Cathy adventures? Oh, I know, I know it's going to be great when we get there, but have you seen how tall it is? I mean, it's massive! I'm only HO, it's going to take me three weeks to get up there! Penny scale Cathy, she's even smaller, it's twice as far for her. <sighs> okay, just get on with it then. Whew. Oh, we're finally here. <gasps> oh, it took a long time. A long time. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't get Big Scale Cathy to give us a lift up. It would have been far easier than this whole let's explore on our own Mill Scale Cathy says. Big Scale Cathy can get us up in a second or two. It takes us all day to get up here on our own. Whatever. Anyway, as you can see, the view from here is um, a bit to be desired. Yeah, we'll be working on that. Do you know, she's measured and lost the measurements for these curtains a couple of times now, which will make it look a lot better, but hey, you know, it's what you see when you get here that counts, I guess. And the eye is supposed to be drawn away from this clutter. Yeah. She's, she's not as tidy as you might.